Hi, thank you guys for tuning in for your come up. We're on your come up. We talk about all topics to help you come up. Business, finance, personal, spiritual, and physical. Today, we're going to have a conversation here with dating coach, relationship, life coach, uh, Michelle, about Christian dating for men and women. If this is your first time here, thank you for tuning in. Good morning. Or good morning. Good afternoon, Michelle. How are you doing today? Hi. How are you doing, Nathan? I'm great. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for taking your time today. Yeah. So for the people watching in 60 seconds or less, tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Michelle Joyner. Mm -hmm. Very appropriate. Joyner, joining people together. There you uh, go. <laughs> I was single for what felt like forever, it seems. And I heard all the advice like Jesus is enough. You should just be content. When you become the right person, you'll find the right person. Uh, that was like the worst for mm -hmm. me. Right. And I was just told, just pray and wait, just, just pray and wait. You know, my twenties went by, my thirties were going by and I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> so, I mean, I had a great life, I, you know, and the clients that I help, like they have, they're amazing. They've got careers, they've got great houses, all that wonderful stuff, but they're just missing someone to cuddle with on Saturday mornings, someone to binge watch Netflix shows and someone just who knows you and loves you with all of themselves and with all of your flaws. They were just missing that. I was missing that. So I got a dating coach and she taught me to believe that I was a high value woman and how to interact with men, how to decode their language mm. and inspire attraction. And I met my husband like less than six months later. And that's what I do for women now. Awesome. And now you have, if you're, if you're okay with me talking about this, now sure. you have <laughs> twins on the way. So congratulations yes. to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it's an online dating for, for Christian men or women, probably more for men on this one. Is there <laughs> art or a way for men to DM or send a message to a girl's inbox that, he's, that he likes or has an attraction to, to set himself apart? When it comes to men, they definitely send more messages. So a woman's inbox will be full of messages. Oh, so it's, it's part more popping in Sunday church. Yeah, so to set himself apart, what I would recommend for a man is to right away be the person that takes care of the woman that he's writing to, like is there for her and and takes care of her. So when he's reading her profile, he wants to see like, what can he say that shows that he will be there for her and he will support her. So he'll have read her profile and he'll say something to like brighten her day. Be a gentleman and be giving from the beginning. It will set you apart from all the other men. I'm just gonna think of an example here. Let's say he, goes through a, a profile of a, a career woman and mm -hmm. he notices that she's always in meetings with Instagram or whatnot, closing deals, mm -hmm. would an appropriate message be, wow, yeah. I, I, I respect your ambition and, and, and your hustle in the corporate game. Yeah. And let's say if he sees like a favorite, like she takes a lot of pictures of food, but the pattern mm -hmm. of that food picture is let's say salmon or scallops, just to name a few. Yeah. I bet a girl gets hungry hustling, so can a brother take you out for salmon or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Offer to to add to her life, to support her life, to be the giver. Because mm -hmm. the girl's got to eat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also too, like, I know you must be really busy because you have such an important life. And I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'd love to brighten your day with taking you out to a special dinner or something like that. Just okay. to like really make it seem like he's there to serve, you know? And for a woman who is very busy and in the corporate world, who's always like trying to show herself to get ahead, just to, to find a man that's there to comfort her, it's just the best. And also let's say if some guys are on a budget, don't uh -huh. feel impressed to say, okay, well I can't, you know, or forced to take you out to this expensive meal. If you're in a metropolitan area, I don't know who does not like food trucks. That's a good place to unwind and just be yeah. out. And he can even make that seem like he's serving her. Like, I want to take you to the safest place possible. So let's stay outdoors. Okay. You know, so he can even make that seem like he's thinking about her. Well, here's my next question. Okay. <laughs> what are three false expectations that women have on the first date and three false expectations that men have on the first date? 
Wow. Well, okay. I think I can, I think I can definitely for men and women, I would just say the expectation that I hear a lot is this has to work <laughs> or I'll be lonely forever. Uh-huh. And just putting like all this pressure. Here's the thing. When you believe that you are high value, the name of my business is total package. I'm mm-hmm. total package life coach. Okay. When you believe that you are the total package, you know that your dream come true, that your spouse is out there. You don't need to put a whole lot of pressure on the first date. You're not going into the first date saying, this has to work because this is going to be the only guy I ever meet for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. You're not thinking that way. You know that you're just going to have a good time and going to enjoy the experience. So yeah, that's the first thing I would say, like believing that this has to work or it'll, you'll be alone forever. Mm-hmm. That's the first completely false and unhelpful expectation. The second one is <laughs> when things are going well, the communication's clicking yeah. and you're feeling great. You're like, oh, I'm going to marry this guy. <laughs> you just met him. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest. I kind of fell for this one. Did you think like that with your current husband now? Yeah, well, it happened like every first date, like every first date, I'm like, oh, what if I marry this guy? What if we have kids? What if we buy a house, you know, in the suburbs? And I just kind of like went wild. Mm -hmm. So I would say that for men and women, again, it's putting too much pressure on the first date. Just really thinking that you can make a decision and like tell your future by the first date. You can't. No, you can't. No. So that's that's kind of like I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Just go have a good time. And then the last thing I would say, just just kind of like as a word of advice, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Mm, okay. So we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to show up perfect. Like guys, like they spend so much money, they you know, they they find a suit, they they find the best restaurant, and they just think everything has to go perfect. It yeah, really doesn't. Right, right. Let it, just let it be. It doesn't. If it's the right person, you can't screw it up. How often should men text after the first date to for the second date and so on, where it's not too mm-hmm. much or it's not too little? This is a really tricky question because I want people to be themselves all the time. I want you to be true to yourself. But here's the thing. In my experience, when you really like someone, you're going to be texting them every day. In my experience, Mm -hmm. if you really like them, if a couple messages trickle in every couple days, I don't think they're going to take you seriously. They're going to know that you're not as serious unless you make it abundantly clear i am not a texter Mm -hmm. and i do not like testing i'm super busy but even then the woman is gonna feel like you're not as interested so i would almost say even if you don't like texting kind of like check in with her every 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 day or so because the message that is out there right now is if they really like you they'll be texting you every day and i'm not the kind of person who really needs a good morning and good evening text Mm -hmm. but at least some kind of like playful cheeky like i'm thinking of you or something like oh i was just in a meeting and i wasn't thinking about you the whole time no you were not on my mind the whole time So like something like that, just know that texting every day sends the message that you're interested. If let's say it's after the first date and you like her, don't be shy just to ask for the second date point blank. Like, absolutely. You know, let's say you went out Friday, you know, it's the weekend. Hey, you know, love to see you again. I got Sunday available or Friday next week. Because again, think of how she's going to feel. Mm-hmm. If she likes you too. If she didn't hear an invitation to a first date, and then she has to go and tell her friends, well, I don't know if we're going to meet again. Nobody wants her to do that. So she doesn't want to do that. You don't want her to do that. And it's just like everybody's texting now. It's unfortunate for the people who don't like texting that the expectation really is there mm-hmm. that you you communicate frequently. Let's say she tells her friends, I don't know if we're having a second day hasn't. I don't know. Well, girl, this bottle rosé will find out. I, I don't, you know how girls can be. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, 
the next question is, what's the biggest mistake Christian women make that keeps them from getting a ring on it? Oh my gosh. I actually have a whole webinar on this. So there's a lot of top mistakes that Christian women make. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you a few. I'll give you them like the really quick ones, not meeting enough men. You, you got to meet more men. I mean, like sometimes I talk to women, they've met two new men this year and it's like, that's not enough. Not being flirty, feeling like it's ungodly to be flirty. And when I say flirty, I don't mean like Promiscuous. You know, most Christian women like to follow the Bible where it says to save sex for marriage. So I'm not talking about in soliciting sex, mm -hmm. but just being playful and cheeky and, mm -hmm. you know, fun and flirty. They don't want to do it. That's kind of a big mistake. But I think the top mistake that Christian women make is thinking that God is just going to drop a husband in front of them and they don't have to. I like to think of it as God gives you opportunities, pathways to walk down to find your spouse. But a lot of women won't walk down those pathways because they think God will just drop someone in front of me. And so they just pray and wait. I think that's like one of the main reasons why we stay single so long because we're just praying and waiting instead of walking down the opportunities he gives to us. You just reminded me of a scripture, uh, faith without works is dead. Like you said, be flirty, just be playful. Don't, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the other answer to your question is don't be so serious at the same time, just have fun with it. Michelle Joyner, before you start joining men and women in, a, in holy matrimony, <laughs> <laughs> any last or final words you'd like to say? Have fun. I would just say have fun. And really realize that your heart's desire in this area is worthy of being honored. All the same goals that you have in other areas, you go to college for a career, you wanna to move to a certain place, like this desire too, to get married, it's so worth pursuing, it's so worth being honored. And don't let time pass you by, cause it will. Time will really pass you by. Honor your heart's desire in this, get help if you need help, and really make this a priority cause it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Don't let time pass you by. Thank you for your time today. And if you guys like the content we're throwing up, drop us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. And if there's any other topics you'd like to see Michelle Joyner talk about, comment below, let us know, and I will do my best to bring her back. Thank you again. Bye.